Hey guys, today I'm gonna give you a small explanation about electromagnetic effect. Basically, electromagnetic effect is a temporary effect in most cases. It comes into play instantly at the demand of attacking reagent and soon and as soon as the attacking reagent is removed, the original condition is restored. In this case, I'm taking a um, ethene molecule. So, when an attacking reagent, for example, the H plus it comes near this molecule there is a change that takes place in the molecule that is this pi bond over here which contains electrons shifts towards any of these carbons mostly the one which is less lesser electronegative so in this case both are equally electronegative so it can go to either of them let's say it goes to this the electrons from this pi bond are transferred to this carbon so this carbon has more electron density when compared to this part of the carbon and hence this gains in positive charge whereas this carbon with more electrons or el more electron density gains a negative so once this uh, state has been reached the attacking reagent can attack the molecule and make or form a bond so this whole process is called electromeric effect now let's move on to the properties of electromeric effect basically electromeric effect is permanent transfer of electrons so please remember that it is permanent transfer uh, of electrons but the whole effect may or may not be a temporary effect mostly it is temporary but it can also be a permanent effect so now to the properties first I'll tell you about the direction of the shift of electron pair that is the pi bond in this case we see that there is a difference in the number of carbons carbon chain in this we have two whereas here we have three so here electron density is more when compared to this and hence here we see a plus i effect um, I'll just get it into a different color easy to understand plus i effect but here we have three carbons and we can see two plus i effects hence the carbons or total negative charge in this part of the molecule tries to push the pi bond towards the other side of the mo molecule hence this pi bond or the, elec the electrons in pi bond here will move towards the lesser electronegative part of the molecule and hence the shift towards this carbon now if we have a reagent H plus it will obviously attack this part okay and of course this carbon gets a negative charge and this one gets a positive charge as I previously explained now ne let's move to the next part of the property this time I will be telling you about plus E and minus E effect that is plus electromeric and negative ele minus electromeric effect so what is plus electromeric effect when we have a reagent like this one H plus we see that the positive carbon or sorry we see that the pi bond is transferred to this carbon here because it is less electronegative or it has less electron density when, density when compared to this part so this gets a negative charge and this gets a positive charge so observe this molecule in this case the pi bond is is um, moving or shifting towards the carbon onto which the reagent will attack and hence this reagent will attack this carbon this property where the pi bond is shifted towards the carbon on which the reagent is attacking is called plus E effect so don't forget that it's plus E effect there's a lot of difference between minus E and plus E so this is the main difference so the next is minus E effect in minus E effect we are going to take a different example in this case um, we take a ketone Sorry, sorry, yeah, whatever that is. Um, I'm not in a place to name it. So, never mind. Let's
let's take a molecule with a car an oxygen bonded with it basically this oxygen is less more electronegative when compared to this part of the molecule and hence the pi bond will transfer to this oxygen and give a negative and this carbon will get a positive well observe this part very carefully because when I bring a reagent like like cyanide then this will attack the atom opposite to the direction of the flow of pi bond that is this will bond with this carbon which does not get the pi bond this whole process itself is called minus E effect in this process the reagent attacks the part which is opposite to the direction of flow of pi bond or uh, electron electron pair so that's basically everything about electromeric effect hope you guys liked it and uh, please don't mind if my English is not good because I stammer a lot thanks for watching subscribe